when you first get your dealt tiles, arrange them in suit in numerical order and then put your dragons and wins together. Identify the strength of the hand and that's going to probably be <laughs> three, two, one. When you first get your dealt hand, identify the strength of the hand after organizing the tiles by suit in numerical. Numerical? Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Riley, seriously, dog? Oh my goodness, okay, here we go. Three, two, one. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange them by suit in numerical order and put your winds and dragons together. Then identify the strength of the hand. Typically, you're gonna look for the predominant pattern, which will be one of the categories on the card on the card. No. Three, two, one. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange them by suit in num numerical. Are you kidding me right now? What is going on? Three, two, one. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange them by suit in numerical order. Then put your winds and dragons together and identify the primary, the primary, what is going on here? Three, two, one. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange your tiles by suit in numerical order and put your winds and dragons together. Then identify the predominant pattern. Look for one suit, one suit in honors, maybe all honors or mixed suits. Sometimes you may have multiples. So identify that problem. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I've estimated time, let's see, three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to practice making quick decisions during the Charleston. Sometimes you can get a little hung up when you get wacky passes. This is one way to force yourself through those moments. Three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to practice making quick decisions during the Charleston. The Charleston is half the game and sometimes the decisions that you make are a little complicated, but if you force yourself to make quick decisions, you might help the game progress better if you tend to take a little too, too long. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This guy's, this guy's exercise. Oh my gosh. Three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The name of this exercise is Charleston Force because we're gonna pre-select categories from the card, just three, and we're gonna force hands in just those pre-selected categories. This is a great exercise if you like playing in events where they pick categories in advance and give out prizes to the first player who will win a hand in those categories. Oh, that's way too long. Oh my goodness, okay. Three, two, one. 
I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force. We're going to pre-select three categories from the card and force hands in those pre-selected categories. It's a great way to push your three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force. We're going to pre-select three categories from the card and force hands in those categories. This is a great exercise if you ever want to play in a tournament or maybe play an event. In an event. In a in event. <laughs> three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and then force hands in those categories. This is a great exercise if you want to push yourself with decision making in, okay, three, two, one. During the Charleston, gather, follow the trend. If you develop another multiple, reassess. Uh, that's awkward. Three, two, one, no. Oh my gosh, this is getting hard. Three, two, one. We're going, oh. Three, two, one. We didn't win any hands for this marathon, but we didn't throw the winning tile. That was one of the achievable goals. So I feel good about our performance and we'll try again. Well, we won't try, we'll do. You do not try, you do or do not. There is no try, that's it. Yoda said that. There is no, there is no try. There is only do, no, no, no. There's only do or do not. There's eat, there's, there is, oh, what is that quote? Oh my gosh, I need to cut that out. Three, two, one. We didn't win any hands, but we didn't throw the winning tile. So we met one of our achievable goals. The other achievable goal was to look for opportunities to play hands of least resistance, which we did. So we achieved that goal too. Whenever you are in a, uh, oh my gosh, three, two, one. If you're ever playing in an, oh my gosh, three, two, one. If you're ever playing in a competitive event, try to pick one or two achievable goals. You can find some encouragement there. If you don't place where you think you might place, and that could, that could create some discouragement. So find encouragement by selecting some, okay, three, two, one. If you ever play in a competitive event, identify, or pick, pick an achievable. Three, two, one. If you ever play in a competitive event, pick an achievable goal. That way, whether you win or lose, as far as placing, maybe you don't place as high as you think you might have come into place. No, three, two, one. That was a, a fun, a fun marathon. It's a great way to test your skills, pick out a, an achievable goal. So if you don't win the whole thing, you can find encouragement. Sorry, there's a gnat. You can find encouragement by picking an achievable goal. So if you play in tournaments, try that because it is one way to, to keep your mind. Oh, what in the world? Okay, it's a good way to keep a clear mind is to have that achievable goal. Okay, what is going on with this gnat? Sorry about the gnat.
Uh, okay, so what did you think about that marathon? We held our own. We didn't throw the winning tile. That was the achievable goal. We tried to look for finesse, force finesse, but it really didn't present itself, not this time. So we'll do more. We'll do more of these marathons. I hope you didn't, you enjoyed it. So we have, we can play like numbers with ones, like numbers with ones, or yeah, or one, two, one, two. I think Riley pooped. Oh, uh. <laughs> I smell poop. Oh, you should be grateful for no smell of vision. Riley pooped. Stinker. I smell it. Oh. Stinker.